White House is strangling the ammo industry. And specifically, he's strangling the civilian ammo industry while he's rebuilding the government ammo industry. Because before it always went hand in hand, and we're gonna talk about three signs to show that this is happening. And, and, it, and it's happening right before our eyes. And it used to be that the ammo industry and the government worked hand in hand. Ammo industry would produce ammo for the government as well as ammo for civilians. It just went on like that for a long time. Not anymore. Ultimately, what we're seeing now is first, they're sending it all away. All the ammo that is being produced in the US right now is being sent to Europe. All of it. A small fraction of that is actually making it to the civilian market. Now we see a lot of that ammo on the shelves, but that's old ammo. They're not resupplying that ammo on the shelves. They're sending it all away. Well, how is it that the government can control the private sector of the ammo industry? How is it that they could literally determine this? Well, let's start with they're controlling the components. What does that mean? That means they have all the components, the raw material, the brass, the gunpowder, the primers. They're controlling all that. And if you go to uh, you know, any private ammo company here in the US, they're gonna say that their machines are mostly running government ammo because it's the government's components. They don't have any choice in the matter. It's the government's components. It's kind of like if I had a bunch of ammo components and I took it to an ammo company and said, make me bullets, they can't use my components to make other people bullets. So literally the US government is controlling the components. But beyond that, they're controlling the caliber. Now, this is very significant because when the ammo companies manufacture ammo, uh, they're manufacturing mostly NATO rounds because the government said, make us ammo, here's our components, and we're gonna tell you we need NATO rounds. Obviously, the US government doesn't need hunting ammo or elk rounds or deer rounds or revolver rounds. They need NATO rounds. So these ammo companies are manufacturing NATO rounds pretty much around the clock and very little else. So ultimately what you have, if you look at all these three things together is you have, they're sending it all away. They're controlling the components and they're controlling the calibers. And because of these three things, they are controlling the private sector of the ammo industry and there's nothing you can do about it. It's something that is unfortunate. It's happening before our eyes. And I truly believe it has nothing to do with this war effort in Europe, that it has everything to do with controlling guns. Because if you control the ammo, meaning you send it all away, you control the components, you control the calibers, you control guns at that point in the US. And that's why I tell you all the time, you have got to stock up, stock up. If you're not stocked up already, stock up. Because in 2024, if anything happens as far as a World War III gets hotter or election issues take place, it's gone. You won't see it for a long time. And the difference is, and I've said this in other videos, but it's worth mentioning here, is that the difference between the last ammo shortage and the one that's coming is the last ammo shortage, we were able to replenish that ammo because there wasn't a war effort. Now there's a war effort stock up. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. I do want to take a moment and say most be people that watch this channel are not subscribers. Please take a moment and click that subscribe button. It greatly increases our chances of our messages being heard through the algorithm. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so just never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns. Thank you.